Hi, this is Leslie. In this video, we're going to take a look at what your imported future and imported past event data might look like in Reserve Cloud. Let's look first at a future date on our event calendar to find an event that was imported over from Old Reserve. I have one here in February down here at the bottom. I'm going to access this event simply by double clicking on it. You'll notice that it appears on your calendar the same as events that you would enter yourself and the color will match what the status was in old reserve. So again to enter into this imported data I'll go ahead and double click on it. Once in the event there are a couple of ways to identify for sure that it was an import. First, you may see a legacy event number field on your screen with the old reserve event number in it. Or if you scroll down your screen to the event attachments area, you may see an attached event order that you can pull up for reference. This event order will show me all of the services as well as any payments that were received. It'll act as a reference document for me so that I can easily re-enter the food, the beverage, the setup, the items that don't come over in that import. So let's go ahead and do that real quickly. To re-enter the services that I saw on my event order, I'll scroll up here to the services area. I'll simply click on the link add a menu. I'm going to go ahead and choose my buffet dinner. That's what I had on my event order. Add that. And I just want to add all of the items that I need either by individually checking boxes to select or in my case it's a buffet and I'm going to simply check all of the items. I'm going to go ahead and save that and I could certainly edit my menu further. For more information about adding services and editing your menus, please see our services video. For now, I'm going to go back into my event. And secondly, based on my old event order, I had some payments that I'll want to re-record. Those payments can be recorded over here in View Financial Details. And I will scroll down here and just hit Record Payment. I'll put in the payment that I had received, possibly the past date that I had received it, and maybe how that came over the payment method. I'm going to go ahead and save that, and that will update my records now so that payment has been posted. I'm going to go back into my event details page simply by navigating with the button. So again, with the attached event order that you'll have in event attachments, you can easily re-enter those services and record any payments that were made and your event should be all up to date. Now let's talk for a moment about past imported events. I'm going to take a look on my calendar here. here. I'm going to go back to December and I have an event that was imported from the past. Now these events will be locked when they come over, meaning they are not editable. However, these events can be unlocked by your administrator. If unlocked, just remember that any changes in financials will be immediately applied based on the new financials in Reserve Cloud. These past events can contain imported revenue values, and those are utilized for referencing in reports, which is a good thing. If copied, however, you'll want to remove that imported value and actually enter the services again, just like we did on our future event that was imported. And that is all there is to managing events or an event data that has been imported from Old Reserve into Reserve Cloud. Thanks for watching and please contact your customer success specialist if you have any specific questions on this.